Shadok here, Synergist of Gaming, doing a review of the Razer Black Widow Ultimate Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. This is an awesome keyboard. It has a lot of features, so let's get started. First off, obviously, there is backlighting on the keys. Unlike some keyboards, you cannot change the colors, but this keyboard is so amazing that that doesn't take anything away from it. There are a couple of modes to cycle through. There's off, light, medium, bright, and then there's this one that actually pulses, which is pretty cool. Just goes in and out. So next up, we have the gaming mode. Basically, you hold the function key and then you hit the little picture of a crosshair with a G in the middle. You'll know it's on because there will be this green G symbol right here. Basically that makes it so that notifications don't pop up to distract you when you're playing games. You don't have to worry about accidentally hitting keys that are going to minimize a full screen game, things like that. This makes sure none of that happens, it's really useful. And one of the greatest features of this keyboard is its ability to use macros and record macros. This right here is on the fly macro recording. To do this, you hold down the function key and then you press this little M symbol right here. You'll know it's on because this red M symbol right over here will light up. You can then type your macro. For example, say you want to use two skills and then spam the first one twice again so you just type those hit function macro again and this symbol right here will start flashing that means that it has saved your macro you just need to pick what you want to set it to so just hit any key these right over here are five dedicated macro keys labeled M1, M2 M3, M4, and M5. So I'll just use M4. And there you go. Now whenever I hit the M4 key, it's going to copy those keystrokes that I just made. Other than that, just technical things about the keyboard. Um, it uses the Razer font, which is easy to read and it looks awesome. has the basic layout that most keyboards have. You know, the number pad over here, all that. Up here we have mute, volume down, volume up, pause and play, stop, back, forward, which are useful for listening to music, watching videos, things like that. And now we are going to go over to what I think is probably the best thing about this keyboard, and that is the actual macro manager program that allows you to customize your macros a lot more. So, I'm going to pull up my screen now and show you guys that. Okay, now this here is the macro manager. You download this driver right off the Razer website. They give directions when you receive the keyboard. It's really easy to do. And this basically allows you to customize absolutely anything. It's really amazing what you can do with this. So, I'll just show you guys uh first off how the layout right here works you can pick any key on the keyboard and you can set those keys to either use their default function you can assign it a different control for example if for whatever reason i wanted to make the h key right here have the function of the f key instead so that every time i hit h it would type f I could do that. Anything like that you can change. I could make the H key pause a video. I can make the H key record a macro. I can make it do whatever. Um, you could set actual macros to keys which allows you to just pretty much do more complex things than setting a single key obviously. 
you can make a specific key launch a program or you can disable a key so for example if you hit your windows key a lot and you always forget to put your keyboard into gaming mode then you can just completely disable that key and then you don't have to ever worry about hitting it again or if you don't use that key so you want to make it launch ventrilo you can set it to launch ventrilo so that that's all it does um, over here we have the macro keys that I mentioned earlier. These have no function, so basically you can just pick these keys and go right ahead and assign a macro to them. You can select from your saved macros, which I'll go over how to make those in a minute. Just pick whatever macro you want. Then you can choose either to make it so that when you hit that key, your macro plays once. You can make it so that your macro will play multiple times. You can choose how many times your macro will play. You can make it so that while you're pressing the key, like holding it down, your macro will just keep on playing until you let go. Or you can make it so that hitting the key once makes the macro toggle continuously. Hitting it again makes it stop. So that's quite a bit of customizability right there. Right up here, you can actually set different profiles, which I'll again go over in a second, so that whenever you switch your profile right here, it'll show what commands each key on your keyboard has for that profile. So that pretty much means that you can have an unlimited amount of macros as long as you're switching profiles. Like you only have the five keys here, but if you have five profiles, it's 25 keys plus whatever you have the regular keys assigned to. So over here we have the manage profiles. You can make new profiles. You can import profiles you already have saved. You can export profiles to save. Like on a disk, this is pretty much something like if you want to be able to use this on another computer, you can save your profile on a disk or something and then you can delete profiles obviously. You can set it so that your profiles will automatically switch. For example, say you play World of Warcraft and you have a profile that is macroed for World of Warcraft and you also play League of Legends and you have a profile with macros for that. You can make it so that when you start World of Warcraft then that profile will automatically turn on so that you don't have to go and manually change it. And then lastly, we have the most important thing right here, the macro manager. You can make new macros, import, export, or delete. You can go to the list of macros you already have and edit those. Um, I'll just show you pretty much how to make a new macro. Let's call this um, dance. We'll name this macro dance. Say for example that this macro is used to dance in games. You want to be able to hit one key and just start dancing. Maybe after you kill someone in PvP. I don't know. So you hit record. Well right here there's back, record, play, stop, and forward. Hit record. Type slash dance. Hit stop. And it recorded the delays in between everything. All that. Well... Let's say, oh, well, I don't want there to be any delay. I want this to be instant. You just do new. Oh. Nice if I hit the stop button instead of the record button, now wouldn't it? So you do new. Call this one dance. So new dance. Now say we do not want it to record those delays. There you go. You can hit ignore delay. Now you type that macro again. Hit stop this time. And it will type whatever you just put in instantly. And this works for a number of different things. You can do pretty much anything. For example, if you're trying to chain your knockdowns perfectly in PvP on a game, you can record yourself having a perfect chain with the on-the-fly recording or maybe 
on your friend or something using this and then save that and then every time you hit a single key then you will perform that perfectly um you can insert delays into things it's like say you want a half second delay boom you just put in a point five point oh oh five second delay that's it goes um by ms so it's pretty easy to customize that there's a lot you can do you can fine tune things as you can see like to a thousandth of a second that's pretty insane i mean pretty much unnecessarily insane but regardless it's amazing and that pretty much covers all the basics of the macro manager so i'm now just going to show the physical design of the keyboard real quick all right so as for the design um you guys i'm sure noticed there's the cool glowing razor logo right at the bottom um the mechanical keys it's kind of hard to miss how loud this thing is when you type mechanical keyboards thing about them is they're really loud but it's like no resistance keys they go down instantly when you hit them which makes it really easy to type this thing is amazing to type on even if you're not a gamer you'd probably love this keyboard just because of that on the side over here we have a USB port which I currently have my mouse plugged into then you have the headphone jacks so you can plug a headset right into the side of this thing so you don't have to navigate your wires around your desk from your computer then right here we have the thick braided cord I really do not know how you could possibly damage this cord it seems very durable it's definitely a good thing right there and then aside from that it's pretty much nothing out of the ordinary in the design. It's uh, made of smooth hard plastic and that's pretty much all there is to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If anyone has any questions feel free to let me know. Otherwise please 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 comment, rate, and subscribe and I will keep bringing out new videos. So thanks for watching.